Blues 101 to 99. So to everybody in the chat right now. Late night frustration, CP and Ashley Moss. This is officially Knicks post game live presented by Manscaped. Uh, unbelievable, man. You know, Rose tried to bring us home. Outstanding defensive effort by him. Like just one blown blown coverage on on uh on THT is what won the game. Oh man. Wow. And RJ, bro, take it to the rack. You gotta take it to the rack with six seconds left, Ash. Where six are we going? Where are you gonna and take a triple step back three? Footer from the logo like you're Damian Lillard? You gotta take the you gotta power dribble that strong. Six seconds left, Ash. You have plenty of time. Try to draw a foul on Drummond. Don't be scared of him. A whole six seconds, yeah. CP. Not point six. Six not seconds. Not three seconds. Not two seconds. You had a whole six seconds and you try to chuck it from the logo? Are you Steph Curry? Are oh. you Damian Lillard? I'm sick right now. I am are sick. Are you Ray Allen? Freaking Reggie Miller? What are you doing? I'm sick, six man. Seconds. Hector from Harlem, you up first, man. What's going on, bro? First off, before we start, give another thumbs up to CP. Appreciate it. What's going on, CP? What's going on, Ash? How you doing, man? Frustrated. Frustrated, um, bro. Um, I, I don't even know. Like, words can't even describe what I just saw. Um, First of all, I know people are going to say he's only 20 years old, so he's got a long road ahead of him. But, I mean, that last sequence, you just saw the jitters go into RJ. He did not know what to do with the ball. Yeah. I mean, Ash brought it up, like, not 10 seconds ago. You didn't even decide to go to the rack, and I understand there's like six and a half seconds left, so you're kind of nervous. You don't know what to do, but you did not look confident, or you didn't know what to do in that sequence, yeah. so that just left me like, I knew what was going to happen, but I just, I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah, Another was... thing, Julius hit the tough shot, and um, we, we, got it, we got it done, but like you said, a mental breakdown, just one breakdown, and THC took advantage. So Courses, I'm man. not even, you know, I'm not even tripping about that. Yeah. But I, honestly, now we move from the four to the six, and with Miami's win tonight, and just the season coming down, I mean, you talk about a heartbreaking way to lose. But honestly, I still have, I still have faith that we're going to somehow creep back into the four. I don't know how. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, but yeah, CP, take over, bro. Thank appreciate you. you, bro. Appreciate you. Got to win the games you got left, man. We're going home against San Antonio, the Hornets, and then closing against Boston without Jalen Brown. We got to win it. Got to win these games and hopefully get healthy, man. Hopefully we get Burks and IQ back. Um, but nevertheless, we were in this game all the way down to the wire. We had the lead. We had a chance to win it. Mental breakdown on the THT three put us down one. And then just lack of execution, lack of overall awareness. I don't know if it was fatigue. RJ was off all night. Two for 13 on the night. 0 for 7 from downtown. Didn't have it. But with six seconds left, you can't, you know, he gets a ball at the top of the key. Six seconds left. He takes two dribbles up and then takes two dribbles back. Like, where did you think you were going? Not only that, but Julius Randle, I mean, he bit the bait when it came to that double team. You know, when... When a team double teams you, they want you to make a mistake. That's the goal. And he bit, and he took the bait when he traveled. I mean, I don't know how much of a clear travel that was. I wasn't paying enough close attention. Yeah, it was travel. Um, but you bit the bait. You bit the, I mean, you took it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're supposed to see the double team come in and pass that ball out, you know? Which means if you're double team, that means one guy's wide open. So... <sighs> It's frustrating to see it. It's frustrating to see it. It's frustrating to watch it, um, especially with guys who are supposed to know better who do this. Mental, mental breakdowns, um, it, man. That's it. Some of it's just basketball one on one. Yeah. And RJ was a RJ, my nine god. You know, I'll defend him till the cows come home. But he was not good tonight. He yeah. did not play his best basketball. His decision making was off. His basketball IQ was off. Um. It just it was not a good performance from him. In yeah, any dude, Kuzma cooked him all night, which, you know, yeah, was Kuzma part of the issue. All night, for sure. um, and just, yeah, it wasn't his best night. It wasn't his best show. But RJ did show up against the Clippers. Tonight just wasn't his night. You can't, you know, big not him up happened. for yesterday's game, for, for the Clipper game, and then try to kill him for this. He, he didn't yeah, have it tonight. That. We're not doing that. He didn't have it tonight. But this game cost us a lot, man. We could have clinched the top six. We could have kept our distance on the Hawks and the Heat. 
Heat surging right now. Heat own the tiebreaker on us, having won the season series, sweeping us. Knicks drop down to six. You get my guy CK2K in the building. CK, how, how you up? feeling, bro? Give me some thoughts, man. Frustrated as hell. That was a, that was a rough one. That was one we really needed. Bro. Seeing us in six now really hurts my feelings, but we'll be all right. But um, yeah, I'm, I, I was hearing all your guys' points. Uh, literally, my game ended a little bit later than your guys', yeah. so I was listening to you guys as I was getting myself set up. Uh, but yeah, the big point is what you just mentioned, man. Uh, we we really really missed our depth. We really missed our depth. There was a lot of mistakes that went on at the end. I'm seeing the chat going in on RJ Barrett. Uh, I see a few people pointing at uh, Julius Randle. It doesn't matter who you point the finger at. Yeah, the point of the matter depth, is man. we were gassed, uh, and you're seeing how much man quickly and Alec Burks really means to this team. Yeah, we needed the depth. We needed the help. We needed like Frank Nealikin did a great job stepping in. He did mm -hmm. everything he was supposed to do tonight. Making his shots was tremendous defensively, but we need our depth and, and nights like tonight really show why the fan base is so fired up when it comes to guys like Alfred Payton, because if we did, if we had a solid other point guard, we wouldn't have situations like this where Derrick Rose was gassed in that overtime. Derrick Rose gave everything he had in that. He fourth gave court. everything and, he had. And then going to the overtime, that was it. Like he made a nice shot. He made that wide open three thing guy, but at the same time, you could tell he was gassed. Yeah, he, he was on his last legs, man. Fourth, so. Yeah. Depth is important. And it was just crazy. I'm listening to the broadcast because for whatever reason, <laughs> TNT kicked in for my stream towards the end. So I all of a sudden was listening to Brian Williams. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was like that the entire game, but they're over there defending the Lakers. The Lakers are missing LeBron James <laughs> and Dennis Shooter. I'm like, <laughs> what about us? <laughs> We're yeah. missing two of our main scores. You guys are just talking about them in the first half. And we, got, we don't have our main center, Mitchell Robinson, like, I don't know. I just love how they get coddled over there while we over here playing shorthanded, and we, we almost had it. We almost had it. But it almost tough had ball. it, man. Pete from Rochester, you up first, man. What's going on, bro? Quite a game tonight. I, I love this team, guys. I love the defense. Uh, you know, we're missing guys, but the hustle is still great. That last play is rough. So what I saw was uh, on that last play when Derrick Rose got the steal, he was kind of up in the bleachers, and, and they're wait, kind of waiting for him, and they called that timeout. Uh, and that, and then we didn't have a timeout for the last play. So, yeah. I mean, that's kind of yeah. like, is that Rose's guess? Or did he kind of get tripped up there? But that's kind of what it looked like, why they called that timeout. I don't know if you guys saw the same thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was probably gassed. He might have been injured. I think, I think Tim's was just trying to get him get him a breather, man, because yeah. he knew that Rose yep. had, yeah. had extended yeah, exactly. his minutes. He looked kind of tripped up. Bullock was kind of waiting, wa waving him up at half court, and then they didn't have the timeout. And I think that's the thing is that they're so used to getting these things uh, together on a timeout. RJ's kind of on that last play. He's just like, he doesn't know what to do. You know, he's, so I think he learned a lesson. I mean, no one's going to get rid of RJ. RJ's a man. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's going he's gonna to learn, learn these kind of tough rookie mistakes. You know, he's, he's just, probably the last time he's going to take a, a deep shot like that at the end. So, um, but, uh, you know, it's, a, it's that same old uh, this season. You know, we need that second closer. It's like the, yeah. you know, Giannis from a couple of years ago kind of thing. We got Randall. They double him, you know. Right. Derrick Rose is great, but yeah, he's older. You know, we're gonna. This is where we definitely miss like a guy like quickly, or we're gonna need a oh, guy. Perks. You know, oh, like a like a you know a Lillard or something like that to yeah. add to this team would be like perfect just to have that second option, that scorer. Um, but I, I love, I fundamentally, I love this team. I you know Bullock, uh, the de the defense. You know, it's uh, you know I'd rather see a team like this you know make to the second round than. You know, super team. You know, where you know they're going to win. I'm a Yankees fan. You know, as a kid, so some yeah. like this. This season's better as a Knicks fan than some of those like you know the 2000 Yankees or somewhere where you you knew we were going to win it. Mm -hmm. um, this is great. Manny from Not Toronto, you up now? Manny, what's going on, bro? Hey guys, how is it going? Thanks for taking my call. What's Thanks. up? I know you guys are having a late night on the East Coast. Yeah. I know I was screaming, waking up my kids. The wife is not going to be happy tomorrow, but yeah. all in all, I want to talk about a few things, which is uh, this game was lost really in regulation time, right? So giving up that offensive board with mm -hmm. three seconds left should have never happened. That's number one. Yeah. And number two, Randall, how many times do we trust him to close out a game? You know, he hits all the big shots, but every time there's a few seconds left and he has to take the last shot, always, always comes up short, unfortunately. So before we get on everybody else, uh, you know, you know that last shot and overtime, that wasn't really the issue. This game was supposed to be won in regulation. You know, if you play basketball, you cannot give up that rebound, especially yeah. just, you just simply box out. You yeah. simply box out even if he catches it, he doesn't put it back up. 
right? So he he was right underneath the basket, caught it and put it back up. Yeah. So Matt Matthews but got the position. Yeah. All I, I mean, all in all, really, like as Knicks fan, we are happy. People forget these are the defending champions, right? And we take them to overtime, mm. and we still have a shot to win the last game, right? So so let's not get crazy. We're not trading anybody. People in the super chat, relax. This is yeah. okay. We won three games on this West Coast trip, so we're happy. I'm happy. You know, sip on that wine, CP. It's a good, <laughs> we're going to make the I'm playoffs. I'm out, man. I'm out. End of story. <laughs> appreciate it, bro. Appreciate Thanks for it. taking my call. I appreciate it, man. I mean, yeah, they defending champs. I mean, but how many players on this team were actually relevant last year, man? I mean, Caruso was at the game early. They didn't have Wes Matthews. Marquise Morris didn't barely play. It was all, It was, It was. was AD. They had Trez AD. Who? Trez wasn't even there. Right. Was Jamal Trez wasn't there. He barely played. So, I mean, Gasol minutes. wasn't there. This is, a, this is a new team, man. The Knicks were right in this game, man. Shorthanded and all. It, it was there to be taken. I mean, the whole champion thing, I don't, I don't, I don't buy that. They just they made more plays than we did down the stretch. Yep. The Matthews getting positioned on D Rose, getting the banking and taking an overtime, and THT gets off a three after D Rose forces two big turnovers on him in overtime. They made the plays down the stretch. We didn't make them. Yep. You know, I think Carlos said the best thing. We should have won that game in, in um, at, at the end of the in fourth. The, He's yeah. completely right. Like yeah. we we gave it. We we let him back into the game. That that rebound and on top of that. We had a final shot, and you know, there's a lot of moments. The turnover. There's so many moments in that fourth quarter that we should have sealed the deal, but we kept leaving yeah. the game wide open for the Lakers, and they did exactly what they should have done in that overtime. If we were talking on the other side of it, we'd be saying that you know they gave us a hole, we took advantage, and that's exactly what they did. They so are I agree who we thought they now. were, and we let them off the hook.